today's show. Well, everyone knows about the traffic woes of the IT city Bengaluru. Great office spaces has made it one of India's largest employment hubs. But the road bottleneck this around the Silkport Junction in the city is actually causing havoc. The junction connects to the IT hubs and micro markets of JP Nagar, Jayanagar, Banarkatta Road, BTM Layout, Sajapur Road, HSR Layout, Fu, and Electronic City. That's a long, long list. It's the only major road that connects to BTM Layout and Outer Ring Road, Sajapur, which means you need to hit this to travel into the city from all these sites. The long hours waiting in traffic here have led people on Twitter calling it one of the bridges to cross to succeed in the IT profession. Lakshmi Sivdas joins us with some citizens who travel through this nightmare. I'm standing here at the Silkboard Junction. This is the intersection of traffic for the IT hubs of Electronic City, Hosu Road, BTM Layout and Whitefield. According to the traffic police's own estimates, there are over 60,000 vehicles that ply these roads during the peak hours. Joining me are some of the citizens, commuters, as well as traffic wardens who face the brunt of the traffic mess over here. Karthik, let me start with you. Uh, you ply through these roads almost every day. Uh, what kind of a traffic mess are we really talking about? Uh, actually, most of the IT companies are located in two corridors to the east and northeast. So all of the vehicles tend to accumulate towards the rush hour, especially when the offices are uh, you know, over and people are returning home. And uh, the jams can almost go up to two kilometers from here. It takes almost two, two and a half hours for people to get home, especially for people working in these areas. But you, uh, what about you? You also go by this route almost every yeah. day. How much time have you wasted stuck here? So on a average, I've been using this road for more than 10 years now. And uh, it takes me on a good day, probably an hour and a half, uh, particularly this junction. So this junction gets piled up almost three to four kilometers, as Karthik said, uh, all the way back. And it could take close to 45 minutes just to clear this this one signal all alone. Let me just move on to the traffic wardens who have actually been on ground helping uh, the situation here. Sir, what do you think has gone wrong in the planning of this particular junction? Because uh, some of the underpass, which is there, which has become uh, useless now, because many of the computers it is not being, it's become a lot of confusion for the people. In, instead of that, you know, if they have a flyover from here to up to this uh, Sarjapur road, I think that will ease a lot of uh, traffic congestion. And in addition to that, you know, if the traffic police man properly uh, in respect of jaywalkers and other things, that will also reduce a lot of accidents as well as, you know, smooth uh, sailing also. That's one of my, my viewpoint. So what about you? What do you think is the cause for uh, the huge traffic mess over here? Lots of things actually. You see, for one, Bangalore has this obnoxious quality of having a bus stop at the start and the end of each intersection. You go there, you'll see buses standing right where the flyover ends. The police station is like, what, half a kilometer from this place? And yet they find it so difficult to use our taxpayers' money to have two constables standing there to make buses move slightly ahead. Number one, look at our road conditions. Travel on top of this, it's full of potholes. Vehicles can't go fast, they keep changing lanes. And as a result, all these jams happen every day. How difficult was it to build a pedestrian subway from here to there for the past 10 years now, 15 years now? The infrastructure of this city has completely failed. Interesting point you're making there. I'd just like to go back to the point you talked about, not enough constables manning these roads. Would you say that's an issue of not having manpower? Yeah, manpower, of course, certainly it's a big lack of manpower because police as it, still, as it is, you know, they don't have much manpower. Especially each police station got very less, uh, less manpower in respect of traffic uh, this management itself. They have to attend to their uh, regular cases and other things. Here in the intersections and uh, especially these uh, junctions, major junctions, at least if they have uh, at least two, two constables in each point, you know, in signal points, I think to some extent the traffic can be used out. If you want to talk about solutions, even the traffic police have been suggesting carpooling and other public transport methods. So, but why do you think people are not taking to this concept? Basically, there are a lot of problems in this. One, one thing is this trust factor. Because when we go for a public carpool, we do not know who are the other occupants or the driver also. So there is a safety factor, especially when we consider women. Okay, and the other thing is the, uh, the carpooling apps are not efficiently implemented. Finally, sir, what do you think is a viable solution to this problem? And also, do you think this is going to hurt uh, Bangalore's tech age? Tech age has definitely been hurt. Bangalore is no more the prime destination for techies to come to unless they have a very fancy job. Public transport, the Volvos which run from Majestic to the IT areas are full. People stand in them every day during the peak hour. 
but the government is not able to enhance capacity because it is the basic infrastructure which is lacking. The condition of the road, the width of the road, the uh, simple things like pedestrian subways, police constables manning them. It, the matter is whether we are socially accountable for what we do. Unless this social accountability comes through, especially from departments which are in the infrastructure, things will not improve here. Thank you so much for joining us today. Those were the citizens, commuters and traffic wardens at the Silk Road Junction talking about how this junction and the traffic mess here is affecting their daily lives. Uh, what they are asking for is accountability from the government and infrastructure departments.